Today's video is how to set up a basic throttle cut with a momentary switch. So let's get started. Setting up a basic throttle cut, we're going to use the momentary switch on the back right of SH. If you want to have a more advanced throttle cut where the throttle has to be down at the bottom before it will activate, that's going to be in the advanced video. And also, we'll talk about if you want to change this to the reverse kit that we mentioned in the getting started video where the back right is a two-way toggle. Two parts to setting up the throttle cut. First is we need to make what's called a sticky switch. And I know what you're thinking, well, BD, what the heck is a sticky switch? A sticky switch is basically like a light switch. It's on and off. And it's a function built into the radio. So you flip it one time and it's on, and one time and it's off. That's why we're going to use that, the momentary switch on the back right. So every time we flip it, it goes from active to deactive and deactive back to active. First thing we need to do, click on model and go to the logical switch tab, which is this one at the top. Here we've got the plus sign because we don't have any logical switches created. We're just going to use L01. Function, that's where I was using the term sticky. Scroll down to the bottom. Now we are going to set up a sticky function. First thing we want to do to turn it on is when we pull the switch up, so SH. We actually want that in a down position. I just mistapped on the label. Now that turns this on and off every time we flip that switch up. That's all you need to do in that screen. You will see on the screen here that it says sticky SH down, SH down. Like some of the other stuff we already talked about, when this is highlighted, it's on. When you flip it again, it turns it off. And you can see how that momentary is now like a light switch on and off every time we push it. Push it up once, it's on. Push it up again, it's off. Second step is to set up a special function that will override channel three when this logical switch is activated. And I know if you're starting out, that's probably a lot to take on. However, let me show you how simple the second step is. You go to the tab to the right, which is special function. Click add. We're going to add special function one. If you have other special functions, just use whichever one's available next. We want to trigger this special function by logical switch one. We click on the drop down box, and you will notice that we have an LS tab. Just click on LS, and it will pop up the logical switch one, which is the logical switch we just made. Click invert. You'll notice that it puts an exclamation mark next to L01. So this allows the throttle cut to be on every time you turn the radio on and you have to flip the switch to turn off the throttle cut and activate the motor. Tap on not L01 and the function, you want it to be override because we're gonna override channel three. You'll notice it's on one, you'll change it to three. Even if you're using DSM or DSM-X protocols, you still want to change this to channel 3. Even though that that actual throttle channel is on channel 1. Value, we want to make that minus 100. So we're going to push the double arrows to go 10% at a time. Lastly, push the enable tab. You will notice that when we enabled that, the SF1 went from being white to yellow. It actually highlighted it. I'll push that again just so you can see it. Before you enable it, it's white. When you enable it, it highlights it with yellow. Now let's go to the monitor screen and you can see that you've set it up properly. We're going to go back to the previous screen. And we're going to push model one time and that'll take us to the monitor. You will notice on channel three, it has a little lock icon out to the side. That means that channel is locked by a special function, or in this case, lock also means override. We're gonna move the throttle up and down. You will notice that the blue will move. 
but the yellow is not moving. The yellow is the output. That's what the receiver sees. So right now, the radio is showing that I'm moving the stick up and down, but it's minus 100 on the output, so the receiver is not going to see any signal. Now I'm going to push the switch on the back right that we created on SH. And you'll notice that the lock went away, and now we have throttle. Same thing if we turn it on, the lock will come back up. And if we turn it on, this is where I'm talking about if you don't have the throttle all the way down, it's just a basic throttle cut on and off. You will notice that it'll go to minus 100. I can still move the stick up and down. But as soon as I turn that throttle cut off, you will notice it goes straight to the 34% that it was sitting at on the bottom one. So just keep that in mind. This is a basic throttle cut. However, it is very effective, but just want you to realize that it being basic, and the reason why I call it that is because if you do deactivate the throttle cut, when you've got the throttle up, it will activate the motor. Today's video was informative. Please push the like button down below. If you want to see future TX16S tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.